you know, we talk about eternity as being beyond the, the comprehension of, of a man's mind, and that is true. But if you just look at astronomy, it goes beyond... A, a man literally could go mad in astronomy. When you think of the size and the complexity of everything around us, if you go out into space, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on, thousands upon thousands of millions of light years, on and on and on, outward. And yet Christ, the one who died for you, the one who washed the disciples' feet, is the one who did this and sustains it. If the whole universe was a supercomputer. A supercomputer the size of the universe could not bring together and hold together the complexities, even to understand them. It's just phenomenal. And this is the one who was born in a manger. Does Jesus really need the worship of men? And would he really be lonely if none of us accepted him? Would it be that great a loss? He has worlds unnumbered. My little boy, Evan, uh, two nights ago, for some reason, just started crying. And he said, I want to go visit Nana. Nana was my mother. And I said, well, Evan, you know that she's, she died. And she's in heaven. Well, is she happy? Oh, yes, she is very happy. But what's she doing? So we just sat down for a while and tried to imagine some of the things that she was doing. Let me ask you, do you marvel enough? Do you marvel at anything? Is there any wonder? Have you never sat, do you no longer sit down and wonder what's up there? Do you no longer just sit and think about what's waiting for you? You're amazed that He created the world? He created the universe? You ought to be. But there's something even greater to keep all these complexities going is astounding. He sustains the entire universe moment by moment throughout all of eternity without effort. And it's lighter than a feather to Him. Now that's power.